Good morning, everyone. This is Royce Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. And today on the docket, we have. Ba -da -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba, McDonald's. Ah, yep, we're going to Mickey D's. Why? Because they added Cajun sauce to their uh, crispy chicken. And I'm nothing if not predictable. So let's take a peek. I got the deluxe because I'm like, I'm a fancy boy, I need my vegetables. Now, I thought that there was an original version, but they only have the bacon Cajun crispy. So I figured, ah, in for a penny, in for a pound, so let's do the deluxe version as well then. I believe this is a potato bun, but I'm not sure. I, uh, I didn't get any Cajun sauce in that bite. Whoops. Here, let's go on this one. You can see some of the Cajun sauce here. It is a Cajun sauce. Savory, mayonnaise-based, kind of spicy. I mean, it's okay. It's not the best Cajun sauce I've ever had, but it's not bad. And again, it's hard to compete with the, uh, with the actual Cajun I had in February. Or late January. When I lit up for my grandma's birthday. We're going to try something I haven't done in a long time. When I was a young boy, my father took me to the city to see a marching band. No, um, something I used to do was I would take the chicken out and eat the veggie part as sort of a makeshift BLT. Sort of deconstructing the sandwich. Turning it back into different <laughs> parts of the meal. Because, like, originally, the sandwich was meant to be a meal replacement. Because it was everything. It was your carb, it was your protein, it was your vegetables. All there, in one package. But, then we started turning it into an entree. And serving it with fries. But, so now we are left with the chicken. You know, they're, they're crispy chicken. Pretty good, actually. It's a little overcooked, but I don't mind that. I'd rather chicken be overcooked than undercooked. That is good. Man, I should have gotten something else, because that's a five dollar thing. Or that's a five minute thing. Ugh. 
You know, I always think, like, if I did end up in a hospital, I would be very, I would be a terrible patient because I would, um, I would probably go to the, when the nurse brought me a glass of water, I'd be like, lady, look at me. Let's start with a liter and go from there. And that's assuming I would be bed bound anyway. If I weren't, I'd probably be getting a cup and getting it from the, uh, from the sink in the bathroom. Well, I guess, I guess I'll do this to do a little housekeeping. Okay. So. I've decided what I'm going to do. There's going, the fast food fave is going to be on Sunday, Cinco de Mayo. I'm sorry. I know this seems a little mean to delay it a day, but it's going to be a big one, okay? So don't worry about that. Secondly, um... Tomorrow is going to be propped up. I know you got. I know a majority of my audience doesn't like propped up, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I apologize. Well, we'll see what happens. But you know that's kind of the way it has to be. I, I, I. I, it's going to be May the 4th. I love Star Wars. I'm hoping I can get a little SEO, but who knows. Anyway, I think that's about it. Bit of a shorter video today. Also, that's not distilled water. That's an, that's an, uh, you know, I got the CPAP, so I filled that up with water from the sink. Either that or it's grain alcohol, which I'm not slurring my words enough for it to be grain alcohol. Um... That's just like, for whatever reason, whatever I think, of, I think because of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, because they had, because they kept their green alcohol in a big jug. I'm assuming it's some kind of moonshine, I don't know. But no, that's just tap water. I don't even invest in, uh, I don't even invest in, like, one of those stupid water filters, that, water filter pitchers. I just like, I don't care, I'll drink from the tap. Is that dangerous? I don't know. You all have a good one. Let's destroy Smiller. I'm happy.